Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and this is part one of our ultimate jazz bass preamp guide. Let's get started. Welcome to part one of our ultimate jazz bass preamp guide. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Lucid Hand NFP filter-based preamp. Now, this is a double preamp. Each pickup will get its own individual filter, and we're going to get some pretty gnarly tones out of this. I'm very excited. These preamps are more commonly associated with the likes of Alembic and Wall Basses, so to have it available or to have the style of preamp available as a drop-in for a jazz bass, I'm excited. <laughs> So whoever said save the best for last can go eat a lobster roll because I want to play with this one first. These preamps retail for 195, I believe, British pounds. Uh, so I think that translates right now to around $270, but I know that the uh, exchange rates do fluctuate. So be sure to reach out to the manufacturer if you're gonna be interested in this preamp after seeing this video. Lucid Hand Devices is a small shop out of the UK and they make some really awesome stuff. I'm happy I reached out to them and they were able to provide this preamp for the video. So thank you so much for providing this preamp at no cost. I appreciate it for supporting the channel and uh, I hope I do it justice. Let's get started. You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. So first up, the installation. Let's head over to my workbench. Okay, so we are here installing the NFP preamp from Lucid Hand Devices. I really like how they used a weathered control plate. I think that's a really neat touch to kind of differentiate them, but uh, yeah, I dig it. So let's go ahead and uh, remove the stock preamp from Sire. Okay, so we have the stock preamp right here. There's a bunch of different wires doing a bunch of different things. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is identify what's what. These four wires here are the pickup wires. And these appear to be battery wires and our output. And this, I believe, is another battery wire. Okay, this all makes sense. Let's go ahead and start taking things apart. First, what we're going to do is desolder our four pickup connectors right here. Have our soldering iron already heated up. And we'll go ahead and snip the rest. Our stock preamp has been removed. Let's go ahead and uh, neaten things up a little bit. Now, because all of the preamps that we're gonna be using are including their own jacks, we are gonna figure out what we're going to do with the side jack here. Uh, I believe on the V7 it was accessible from the control cavity, but that doesn't appear to be the case here, so we might have to do a little bit of modification here. We will see momentarily. Next up, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and expand uh, the hole that goes into the jack cavity here um, because the jack cavity is rather large, but this hole is kind of tiny and I don't think I can fit the um, included jack on the preamp, which is right here, uh, through that little hole. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. 
There we go. Okay, so we have the jack in. Now we should be able to connect our ground wire as well as our four pickup wires to the screw down connectors. And then from there, we'll hook up our battery and we'll be done. Let's uh, reinstall our football jack here, removing our existing old jack. Okay, our jack is installed. Let's go ahead and install our pickup connectors. Next, we have our battery here. We're just gonna use a, a battery that I had laying around. We can pop this in. It can fit right there. And here we go. Control plate is in. The holes mostly line up. Let's see if we could get some screws in here. Okay, we have everything installed now. Let's go ahead and see what this bass sounds like. And we are back. We have successfully installed the Lucid Hand NFP preamp. This filter-based preamp is awesome. This is very different than the regular EQ-based preamps that we've seen in pretty much every other bass. Let me go ahead and show you. So as I mentioned, this is the same style preamp that we see in wall and alembic basses, which are extremely high end. So to be able to get the same style of preamp in a much more affordable package and one that can fit in a jazz bass is pretty sweet. Now, this is not an EQ, as I mentioned. We have two filters, one for each pickup, and uh, we'll go through the functionality in just a moment, but here's what it sounds like with everything turned up. <laughs> Very nice. I mean, it sounds like a jazz bass. That's because we haven't messed with any of these filters yet. So each knob controls the filter for each individual pickup. The front one controls the neck pickup and the back one controls the bridge pickup. And both of these are push-pull for a high gain mode as well. So let's check this out. Uh, how should we do this? Let's start out with the neck pickup soloed first. There is gonna be a little bit of single coil hum as these are still single coil pickups. These are not hum canceling, but I'll show you what happens when we start playing with the filter and have the pickup soloed. So again, here's the filter all the way up, essentially like the tone all the way open. Here's what that sounds like with just the neck pickup. Now, let's play a note and play with this filter and you'll see what it does immediately. Ah, uh, so let's do that a little bit slower and go through the different tones that we get just with the turn of one knob. Thank you. 
Yeah, so we can get a lot of crazy tones and we haven't even touched the high gain mode yet. Let's go ahead and pull the knob out. We hear a little bit of a noise bump because the gain is increased. Let's turn the knob back all the way up and here's what this sounds like. This is just the neck pickup. Yeah, so that was just the neck pickup in both low gain and high gain modes respectively. The high gain was with the knob pulled out and we went through the entire tone spectrum with one pickup. And keep in mind, we have two separate filter controls, one for each pickup, as well as two separate volume controls. So you can really dial in a bunch of gnarly tones. And this is again, very different from a regular three band or two band EQ. This is not an EQ at all. It is a filter and it sounds really cool. Let's go ahead and turn that back up, push it down, and we're gonna go ahead and solo the bridge pickup now. So this is gonna be the bridge pickup, low gain mode, and the tone all the way up, or the filter all the way up, and we'll start going from there. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh yeah. Now let's go ahead and pull out the filter knob for the bridge pickup, turn it back up, and check out high game mode. Wow. So you could see the huge plethora of tones that we could get from just a single small turn of one knob. That's right, we were looking at these pickups individually and were able to get that wide of a tone variety from one pickup with one filter. Now let's put both pickups at full and see what sort of different tones we can get by messing with these knobs. So again, here's everything at 100%. So these are almost like tone knobs on steroids. So. Uh, up all the way, you're essentially getting almost like an open tone, and then uh, when you turn things down, the filter starts to come alive. So again, here's everything open one more time with both pickups on. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
<clears throat> now let's try and do a little bit of slap. Let's play with this a little bit more. So here are my final thoughts on the Lucid Hand NFP filter-based preamp. Wow, this thing is really, really cool. I like this preamp a lot, and it is definitely a breath of fresh air, especially when coming from a sea of, you know, two, three, and four band preamps. This is not an EQ. This is a filter, and man, does it do its job really well. You can get some really gnarly tones out of this bass with this particular preamp that you can't get anywhere else. Uh, this preamp definitely allows you to, I guess, tailor your tone in a very different way from your regular EQ, and you can just get some really otherworldly sounds out of this, sounds that you wouldn't expect to be coming out of a regular-ish jazz bass. Now at the 195 British pound price point, which comes out to, I believe, around $270 US at this particular point, um, it's not the cheapest preamp in the world, but that being said, it is definitely one of the more unique ones. Again, this type of preamp is usually found in an alembic or a wall base, both of which are generally over $10,000 US. So to be able to get that type of tonal flexibility, which is again completely different from what you get with a standard EQ, in a drop-in preamp is really awesome. Now Lucid Hand is a small company, they're not mass manufacturing these, so if you're looking for something, uh, I guess, particular to your taste, be sure to reach out to uh, the Lucid Hand company. I'm going to go ahead and link their uh, info in the description below. If you're interested in this preamp, reach out to them and uh, see what they can do for you, because they will build these preamps for pretty much any application, including Stingrays. Yes, you heard correct. They make a Stingray preamp as well, a drop-in Stingray preamp, and that pairs really nicely with some uh, aftermarket pickups. I believe there's some videos online circulating with this particular style of preamp and a Herrick pickup, which is an 8-coil Music Man pickup, and the tones that you get out of that kind of bass are insane. I'm hoping to get my hands on one of their Music Man style preamps in the future so we can demo that in a Music Man scenario, but so far with this jazz bass preamp, I am very impressed. Again, the tones that you get out of this can be otherworldly at times and stuff that you just don't expect out of a jazz bass, but man does it sound good. Well, that is it for the video demo on the Lucid Hand Jazz Bass Preamp. This is a double filter preamp, one filter for each pickup, and man, you can get some crazy tones out of this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and leave a comment down below. And let me know what you think about the Lucid Hand NFP Preamp in our Sire V3 Jazz Bass. And as always, until we groove again, 